Autonomous driving will fundamentally revolutionize the automobile. Artificial intelligence will play a key role in this. Deep learning as a mega trend. Mercedes-Benz is the first automotive company in the world to meet the demanding legal requirements for a level three system. Germany has taken a pioneering role in this with the opening of the Road Traffic Act of 2017 for level three systems. The result is that customers will be able to purchase an S-Class with Drive Pilot, which will enable them to drive in a conditionally automated mode of up to 37 miles per hour or 60 kilometers per hour in heavy traffic on suitable highways within Germany. Before we continue, please consider subscribing to Car Safety and Technology channel for more informative automotive videos. First, let's talk a little about the different levels of autonomous driving and what role this achievement plays. According to researchers, we might see up to 8 million semi-autonomous and autonomous vehicles on the road by 2025. The Society of Automotive Engineers, or SAE, defines six levels of driving automation ranging from zero, which is fully manual, to five, which is fully autonomous. These levels have been adopted by the U.S. Department of Transportation. Level zero, no driving automation. Most vehicles on the road today are level zero, manually controlled. Humans provide the dynamic driving task, although there may be systems in place to help the driver. A good example would be the ABS, or Anti-Lock Braking System. ABS doesn't drive the vehicle, although helps while braking. Level 1. Driver Assistance The lowest level of automation, in which the vehicle features a single automated system to assist the driver in doing things like accelerating or steering. For instance, adaptive cruise control which keeps the vehicle at a safe distance from the vehicle in front. It qualifies as Level 1 because the human driver monitors the other aspects of driving, such as steering and braking. Level 2. Partial Driving Assistance The vehicle could control both the acceleration and deceleration and the steering. Although the automation isn't considered self-driving because a human is in control in the driver's seat and can take control of the vehicle at any time. A good example of such systems is Tesla's Autopilot and Cadillac Super Cruise systems considered to be Level 2. Level 3. Conditional Driving Automation Technologically, the difference between Level 2 and Level 3 is significant. Although these vehicles still require human intervention and override, they can make informed decisions for themselves, such as accelerating past a slow-moving vehicle and have environmental detection capabilities. Level 4. High Driving Automation Level 4 vehicles do not require human interaction in most circumstances, but a human still has the option of manual override. Due to infrastructure and legislation playing catch-up, these vehicles are geofenced, or they must operate within a limited area. Most Level 4 vehicles today are geared towards ride-sharing or robotaxi. Level 5. Full Driving Automation these vehicles do not require human attention and a person's dynamic driving task is eliminated. Level 5 cars won't even have steering wheels or acceleration or braking pedals. They will be free from geofencing, able to go anywhere and do anything that an experienced human driver can do. With Mercedes-Benz Level 3 system in place, their drive pilot equipped vehicles will be able to take over the dynamic driving task, but only under certain conditions. The technical approval for such a system came into force at the beginning of 2021. With the opening of the Road Traffic Act for Level 3 systems, Germany was the first country to create a legal basis for the intended use of these systems. Drive Pilot will be initially offered on 8,197 miles of highway in Germany. On suitable sections and where the traffic is dense, the system can offer to take over the driving up to the legally permitted speed of 37 miles per hour. The controls for the system are conveniently placed in the steering wheel. Once activated, the system will control speed and distance and will effortlessly guide the vehicle within its lane. The system also reacts to unexpected traffic situations and handles them independently. 
DrivePilot builds on the vehicle's surround sensors and additional sensors such as LiDAR, a rear camera particularly for detecting blue lights and other signals from emergency vehicles, microphones, and a moisture sensor in the wheel wells. A powerful central control unit and advanced GPS and sensors ensure the once drive pilot is engaged, the driver will be able to take their mind off the traffic and focus on other secondary activities, such as communicating with colleagues through the in-car office, surfing the internet, or even watching a movie. Mercedes-Benz Level 3 Drive Pilot System brings us one step closer to a fully autonomous self-driving future and leads the show where someone might have thought that Tesla is leading here. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe and hit the bell button on for more related videos. Thanks for stopping by and stay tuned.